Hey, what's up, guys? This is MJ100K, and today we're going to do a little something different. We're going to review a new car, and this is the 2024 RAV4. We have our friend on the line, Dane, here, and his parents recently bought one of these cars. So Dane got to get up close and personal. Now, as you guys know, Dane is a GM aficionado. He also loves BMW. And I don't know, this may be the first time he's ever done a review of a Toyota, as he likes to call them. So, Dane, we're going to let you take it away. What did you think of the RAV4? What year was it? Was it a hybrid? Yeah, it's the brand new um, 2024 hybrid. Okay. And, yeah, my mother specifically wanted that one. Now, she was one of the first to buy a Prius when those first came out. Mm -hmm. Bought it brand new. They still have it. It's got like 300 some thousand miles on it. I absolutely hated that car. Not you hated because it. Of a hybrid. Oh, it's just they're just not. You can't hardly see out of them. They don't make nothing for power. It just it's just not a good car to drive. What year was well, it? It was a uh, nine, maybe. Two thousand nine. I think so. Okay. All right. Yeah. They got so one you of didn't like that. So you didn't generation. like the Prius. Okay. Didn't, didn't like the Prius. You know, I didn't like the the backup beeper that was in those things. You, know, you put it in reverse, and it was like beep beep beep, like a like a big truck. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when the hot, when it would kick off the electric and onto the gas motor, it was a kind of a jolt. It wasn't a real steady smooth. But anyways, that's my Toyota hybrid experience up until now. So now they have this, well, she wanted a new car, bought a new car. I got to finally not just see it, but drive it and use it this, mm -hmm. uh, this past weekend here. So what'd you and think? You like it? Overall review, I'm impressed. Uh, yeah? Yeah, for a, an everyday car, you don't need anything else. It does everything you need it to do. It is very simple in the interior, roomy, comfortable, plenty of room for your cargo and stuff in the back. We fit four adults in it and a baby and all of our stuff from the airport in it just fine, no problem. Um, I got to drive it on my own a little bit with my wife. Mm -hmm. And you yeah, the Apple CarPlay hooked up really nice. Okay. Yeah, Seamless transition. The thing that impressed me the most is how much smoother the transition is now between electric drive and when the motor kicks on. You, okay. you know it kicks on because there's that little bit of vibration, but it's not that like jolt like it used to be in the earlier hybrids. So it's much smoother. The dash layout's nice. Um, it has all the new wizardry, you know, the, um, the uh, lane assist, you know, Keeps you in between the lines, which I hate. Got the, so blind, <laughs> got the blind spot monitor too, right? Yeah, got a blind spot monitor. It's got the active cruise control, so you can set it to just pace the vehicle in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's got it's got everything, and it just drives nice. It's a quiet car. It handles really smooth. Did Buttons you find the brakes there. coming on without them being asked to come on, like in the Honda and in my I, Ben Sprinter van? I didn't have that. But that was the one drawback I was going to get to is those brakes are so, so, so touchy. You yeah. can just breathe on that pedal and it's like <laughs> going on its oh. face. And I think that's because it uh, regenerates. So if you go back yeah. to that picture you were just at, that gauge on the left-hand side tells mm -hmm. you kind of what mode you're in. And that very bottom section is charge. So as soon as you touch the brakes, that dial will just go in oh. right in the full charge mode. Yeah, so it's regenerative braking all the time, uh, or as soon as you touch the brakes, you know. So it's doing as much as it can to pull energy back into the battery. Okay, so brakes a little touchy. Anything else you didn't like about it? Uh, the lane assist stuff, but that's on all cars. I just turn that off. I just, yeah. you know, it just drives me nuts. Half the time I, you know, pass people without using blinkers and whatnot, and it wants to fight you that little bit, and it drives me nuts. But uh, so the, yeah, the gas, gas mileage was good. Yeah, oh, phenomenal, right? Yeah, it's yeah. You know, hybrid power. I forget what it was averaging, but it was high. All I don't right. think it was actually, what, did it hit 50? Because I know that Prius consistently would get 50 or close to it. Yeah, it'll get I don't more think it was quite as good, but uh -huh. uh, it was still, I want to say 40 or better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah um, I'll tell you guys, this is one of my favorite vehicles, the RAV4. It's, it's like right up there with as the top selling vehicle in the entire world uh, with the Tesla Model mm -hmm. Y, I think. So um, wow. 
three. Now they, they they're right. I think the Y is a little bit higher, yeah. but um, but yeah, this is like up there as one of the best selling vehicles in the world. It's one of the best selling vehicles in the world for a reason. Is because it's awesome. I think, as I've said before, the hybrid version of this is the one you want. It has the ECVT transmission, which is just two big motor generators in the transmission. Mm -hmm. These things last forever, and they are super, super simple. It's got the 2.5 liter engine, which they've been making for a while. I believe this yep. one has a higher compression than uh, the 2.5 liter in my 2017 Camry. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, no turbos, no superchargers, basic engine, beautiful ECVT transmission. I mean, they have been working the bugs out of this hybrid system for a while. Dane likes it. I think the brakes are a little touchy, right? Yeah, the brakes touch you, but yeah, like you were saying with those ECVT motors, like the power delivery is super smooth and great acceleration, great torque. I, yeah. I've i got really minimal complaints. Um, like okay. I said, I'm going to get supposed to. Yeah, it's, it's a nice car. You just If you need a new commuter car, you want something that gets good fuel mileage, I would look at this. Yeah, and um, I did a video on one that got to like 470,000 miles with original engine, battery, and transmission. Mm -hmm. I think these hybrid batteries can last longer than EV batteries because the vehicle decides when it goes back and forth from hybrid to electric. You're mm -hmm. not going to be able to overcharge it. Like I heard if you go to superchargers too often on a Tesla, then the batteries get too filled up too fast that it, it lessens the life of the battery. But in yeah. this vehicle, like the car is going to figure it out for you. So yes. we got some glowing reviews from a Chevy guy for the Toyota. Chevy, we are waiting for you to bring over the plug-in hybrid Equinox. We can't wait forever. Dane's mom couldn't wait. She nope. had to get the Toyota. Gotta Come on, Chevy. It. We need you. <laughs> bring that hybrid over here from China. We need it here. We need some competition. Competition is good for everybody. It That's makes right. the cars better. They keep trying to one-up each other and the consumers end up winning so that's what we got for you today uh dane likes it i like it i love it i've always loved that vehicle i think that's the best vehicle toyota makes if you have a toyota rav4 hybrid let us know in the comments what have what has been your experience with it are you happy with it is there anything you would change or improve and chevy we're waiting we need the competition bring it on and everybody's going to benefit that's what we got for you today. Thank you for tuning in and have a good one. See you guys.